Welcome to Designer Digital's bi-weekly tip, July 20th, 2018. This week, how to mash up word art to create new phrases. I'm a huge fan of the digital word art at Designer Digital's. Browsing through the vast array of title sets gives me so many great ideas for new pages and albums. Whenever I get in a scrapbooking rut or I just need a mojo boost, Choosing a title gives me just the nudge I'm looking for. Even better, looking at word art sets with a creative eye gives me an even wider set of possibilities for scrapbooking projects. You can combine words from within a set, or you can put together two or more sets to come up with a title that will help you capture the essence of your photos and your memories. For example, you can mash up the titles a day in our life and this is special to create this is our life or you can take little sprout and mash it with plant lady to give you little lady here's how begin by opening your scrapbook document and at least two png word art images that you like to mix and match for the sample i'm using girl power from hand scripted girls and america the beautiful from hand-scripted stars and stripes. Target one of the open documents. Just click to select it. Making sure that the layer is highlighted in the layers panel. Over here on the right, you'll see this layer is not highlighted. So if I tried to work with it now, nothing would happen. So you've got to click to make sure that this is highlighted. Then get the lasso tool. It's the third tool down in Photoshop and it looks like a lasso. In the options bar, Choose the new selection icon, so it should be the first icon, and set your feather to zero pixels. So you want it crisp, you don't want it fuzzy. Carefully click and draw a circle around one of the words. So I'm going to select beautiful here, and I'm just going to use my cursor, hold down the clicker while I draw out a circle around this word. And you need to be somewhat careful so that you don't get bits and parts of the other words in your circle. When you get back to the beginning of the circle, it becomes marching ants. It's a selection. Now get the move tool, which is the first tool, and drag this selection onto your scrapbooking document. Now you can't drag from these transparent areas that look like a checkerboard. You're going to need to grab from something dark, like one of the letters and click and drag it over. When you do this, only the selection will move on to your project, not the whole open word art. Target the second document, so I need to go back and target girl. Again, I need to make sure that the layer is selected, and then get the lasso tool and select the other word that I want to use. In this case, it's girl. Okay, I'm going to deliberately mess up so that I can show you how to fix things when you do mess up. So you can see I've made a selection, but I've included some of the P from power in my selection. In order to fix that, come up to the options bar and choose subtract from selection, and then draw out a circle around that part that you accidentally messed up on. And your selection then is removed from that part that you accidentally grabbed. And if you find that you accidentally didn't get something that you needed to get, you can choose Add to Selection and then draw out a circle. And it makes the selection bigger, so it will include what you accidentally excluded. Then switch to the Move tool and drag this over onto your scrapbooking document. And again, it only grabs this part that you've selected. Now you can resize, recolor, and reposition your title letters on your page to finish your project. Swapping out words this way allows you to personalize the title to speak to your specific needs and it greatly expands your title options when you begin to look at the titles as words instead of a whole. Thanks so much for watching this week's video and be sure to check back in two weeks for the next Designer Digitals tip.